coming. <laughs> Hello. Hi, <laughs> I'm Lisa Wright, and this is Aiden. I'm the Barefoot Pampered Chef, and Aiden here is gonna show you how to make a pizza ring today. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our round, our round white, white, large stone. Large stone. And what we're going to put on here, the crescent rolls, how many cans? Seven minus five. Seven minus five is Two. Two. We're going to do two rolls of crescents, and we're going to lay them out in this pattern. So hopefully you guys can see that. Right here, right in front of his face. Okay, so now... What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sauce, <laughs> we're gonna knock everything over. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our sauce in, in a ring in around the cheese. So let me go get a spoon. Here, put your sauce like this. And we're gonna put a little bit here and we're just gonna put it in a ring right around the center. And then I'll lift it up and show you when he's done. You're gonna have to put on more than that at a time there, buddy. Or this demo is gonna be all day long. <laughs> put more on. That's a half of a cup of sauce that we're using. You can use store-bought or you can make your own. Keep going, bud. Let me help you out. No. How about I put some on and you smooth it out? Since we don't have all day. But, if it was just you and me cooking, I would let you take all day. So I'm just smoothing that out. Once it gets down to a certain amount, I think I'm just going to dump it out and let him smooth it. So here you go. Smooth. Stop sticking your finger in stuff! <laughs> you tomato hound. So I'm just going to pour the rest of that out on there. Luckily we're eating this and no one else is because this is not kitchen sanitary there, buddy. You sticking your finger in it. All right, now spread it all out and then we'll get the cheese. You good? You think it's spread? Okay. Good. All right, done, done, done. Okay. No. So hold it up a little bit so people can see it. So this is what it looks like. A little bit messy, but that's with it all spread around there. So you're going to spread it on the center. I'm going to put this aside for one second here. And he's going to show you how to shred the mozzarella cheese after he eats that pepperoni that he just stole. So go ahead and shred the cheese. This is our adjustable coarse micro or adjustable plane micro micro plane grater. Slow down, child. <laughs> you gotta press. Okay, mommy, I got it. You got it? Okay. Keep sliding. Do we have a cup of cheese yet? Not yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a cup of cheese? Eh, I think we need a little bit more. Hold on. Quit eating the pepperoni! <laughs> Alright, I think we have a cup of cheese now. Maybe a little bit less. So we're going to put that cheese right on top of this sauce. And I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to let him do the pepperoni. I'm just going to... Yeah, I figured you're going to steal it. Okay. No, 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 no. This piece, like, needs to be That's broken. okay, just put it on there. Broke, broke. I'm smushing it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our one cup of cheese minus the few pieces that he ate on there. And then we're going to layer in our pepperoni. Now, you can put in any toppings you want. Aiden is a pepperoni hound, so we're going to okay. put pepperoni on it. I'm going to put it on. He's probably just going to eat more than we put on the pizza. Can you help me start layering the pizza? 
They've actually found that a percentage of kids, a, a large percentage of kids that cook in the kitchen when they're younger are a lot healthier when they're older. They're uh, more prone to cook healthy meals for themselves and instead of cooking out. So we like to help out in the kitchen, don't we, Aiden? Mm-hmm. So the other thing that Aiden is very, very <laughs> fond of, you know you're live on Facebook, right? I know. The other thing that Aiden's really fond of making is, or eating, is mm. bacon. Mm. Sorry. Okay, you can eat that. Yay, yay. So we're gonna throw some bacon on this too. And your bacon. Mm. <laughs> can you open that other one? Because that one has some veggies in it. Is this cold bacon? It's cold bacon right now, but it's gonna get warm. Mm. So we're just gonna spread this bacon on here. <laughs> Apparently has some pepper in it. <laughs> no, not the bacon. Oh, the pepperoni was hot? Yeah, I ate two pieces at once. Oh. All right. Now that is a big fish. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna put the veggies on. These are just veggies that I've cut up in the coarse, the coarse grater that he likes. Mm. You want to spread some on? Make it a little healthy. Leave my egg alone. What is it for, mommy? I was making omelets this morning while you were gone. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these edges and we're going to roll them over to make this. So this is how it kind of looks when you're starting. Mommy, can I go and make You want me to spread it out? Thank you. Good job. Now, can you help me roll over the edges? I need to flatten them out so it doesn't get really tight. Okay. Well, let's fold over the edges. Roll. So roll on this side. Roll, roll, roll. And roll it over. Pizza. Uh, yep. Roll my pizza. <laughs> All the way over. You gotta make it into the center, child. Keep rolling. There's two more sides. Keep rolling. Roll it over. This one is the easiest one right here. That is? The last one? Last one. Okay, so it's all rolled over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little egg wash on it. So this is what it looks like before the egg wash. And now we're just going to take one egg and our silicone basting brush and Aiden is going to paint it lightly. You don't need a lot. There you go, just paint it. He's going to paint the top of it all over, the whole thing, so that it gets a nice brown color. Now remember, brown is flavor. It's good, huh? Keep painting it. When you work with kids in the kitchen, you know you're going to get messy. That's fine. Things clean up. There's no use crying over spilt milk. Look at all this side you're missing. All right, I'm gonna finish that up. You open this for me. Open this up. Let me paint the rest of it really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, that was easy. That was easy, wasn't it? You know what those are? What? Those are the Pampered Chef one cup, or one cup prep bowls. Don't eat that. Why? I'm gonna eat our herbs, like Ew. you ate that. <laughs> like you ate the piece of ginger today <laughs> that Daddy gave you. Don't ever eat anything that Daddy tells you to eat. <laughs> no, I just like I just licked it. Okay. Oh no, that is spicy. Okay. Here. Well, it has oregano in it. This is one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and one tablespoon of garlic powder. So we're gonna sprinkle this. Did you just put that back in there? That's disgusting. <laughs> we're gonna Sibling sprinkle this over the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey, hey. Not too much. I'm a girl. Hey. Okay, I think we're done. You done? A little more. We're done. Okay, a little more. All right, I'm wanna pick it up and show them? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. 
So what we're gonna do now oh, is I've got the oven. Stone. Yes, it is stone. I have the oven preheated to what's that number? 425. 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put this in and we're gonna cook it for about 15 to 18 minutes. I think that, I think lava is hotter. Lava is hotter, yes, lava is hotter than 425 degrees. So, stand up. Say your name. My name is Aiden William Wright. So, this is Aiden. I'm Lisa. I'm the Barefoot Pampered Chef. And you can find the uh, large white uh, stone and uh, the prep bowls that we use and the silicone basting brush at www.pamperedchef.com. Dot B I Z backslash Lisa Wright L I S A W R I G H T. And hopefully, you don't have to deal with this when you're cooking your pizza ring. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Oh, now you're Rudolph the Red Reindeer? No. No? Hello. Alright, say goodbye. Pizza Aiden. Pizza Aiden. Bye-bye.